Hi, this video will explain about leveling work and calculation involved in leveling. There are three equipment which will be used, that is staff, tripod and level equipment. The procedure that will be shown in this video is fly level procedure. Firstly, locate the first staff at benchmark, then walk about 20 meter from the first point. Before starting any survey, the bubble at the level equipment must be at the center using three leveling screw at the level equipment. Firstly, observe the staff number one at benchmark for backside and the acquired value is 1.247. Then, observe the staff number 2 for fort side and the acquired value is 1.753. After that, move the staff number 1 and level with tripod to station number 4 and 5. The level equipment and tripod must be placed at the middle between two staff and need to set up properly. Then, observe the staff at station 3 for back side and observe the staff at station 5 for for foresight. After that, continue the same step to the next station and repeat the procedure back to the benchmark. After the leveling work is done, we need to calculate our job whether it is within acceptable tolerance or not. Firstly, calculate the value of rise and fall reading for each station. The calculation starts by subtracting the value of each backside with foresight. Then calculate the total value of backside and foresight and find the value differences. The total value of backside and foresight must be same with the total value of rise and fall. After all value have been calculated, calculate the difference value between backside and foresight of the round trip. Then calculate the radius level of this work. For instance, the assumed radius level is 100, we'll have to add with the value of rise and fall. Then use second value to calculate for third value of radius level and calculation will be same until the last value. After that, the first radius level value minus with last radius level value to get the difference value of adjustment for radius level. If there has the difference value for adjustment, the difference radius level value has to divide with number of station. Then, the calculation method for adjustment radius level value can be seen as shown in the video. Lastly, the difference between radius level value must be zero to imply that leveling work has been done correctly. That's all. Thank you for watching.